G'day guys, Ron here from Osborne Digital Marketing. Today I'm going to show you how to use ChatGPT for keyword research. Let's uh, jump into it. So as you can see, I've got ChatGPT behind me. This ChatGPT keyword research video is going to be a quick one and I'm going to show you some tips and so you can think outside of the box and utilize AI to do keyword research. Now way I like to start it is honestly just putting in something that you're going after. So let's just say you're thinking about some keywords. You're like, hmm, I need some keywords. What do I need? So a prompt you can give it is give me. So I want to click in here. Give me all of the possible keywords uh, for a dressmaking business. There must be at least 25. So you can do this with anything, anything, honestly, any type of industry, whatever type of business you're doing. If you're using uh, chat GPT for keyword research, this is what you can do. So as you can see now, this massive list will be produced. At least 25 will be produced. Now you can make it 100. You can do whatever you want. Now I'll show you how I also utilize this from here. So as an example, I like going using the above list, create long tail keywords. So what I would do in this situation is I would grab that list. I'd throw that into SEMrush, Ahrefs, whatever SEO tool you have from there. Then you can come back to this and go, okay, there was some search volume on this. You can then pick out the ones you really want to go after. Or if you just want to go after this type of stuff, well, there you go. Now look at all of these long tail keywords it's producing. This is so cool. This is why I love ChatGPT because it makes you think outside of the box. It's fantastic when you're pulling a late one <laughs> and you're trying to create some uh, content, you're trying to create some keywords, and uh, it's a great thing for that. So now you have these. Now you can do a couple of things here. You can push it to the next level and you can actually do this. So if you scroll back up to your prompts, right? So as you can see, here's a prompt in here. Here's my, my original prompt. What you can do is you can re-edit these prompts. So you can click on the button right above my head. So I click on this one and I can edit this. So using the above list, create a keyword cluster. So now what this will do is it'll cluster everything in. So now when you do your long tail keywords, you can go in there and you can start to link all that stuff together. Now, depending upon your long tail keywords, if it's actually viable to even create a blog post about, there might be some tweaking. You still need to throw it into your tools. You'll still need to throw it into Google but have a look at the way it can cluster things in. Now, if you try to do a cluster on the long tail keywords, that can be harder. So something that you can do for that is let's just say, again, you wanna go back to the original, the seed list, so your keyword seed list. You can be using the above list, create long, uh, long, let's get this, tail keyword blog post, titles so save and submit so now you can get long tail keywords and you can get titles for them so that's how you can do chat gpt keyword research this is a very quick one a very simplistic one in all honesty but as you can see here this is great easy fun it helps you think outside of the box you can create keyword clusters with chat gpt you can create keyword ideas, you can create blog posts. It's just fantastic. Do I recommend it for writing all of your content? Absolutely not. Organic will always be the best way. Getting your fingers to the keyboard, that's the best way to create content. But to get some ideas, there you go. And sometimes this will happen. So sometimes, perfect example, YouTube video, this is why I like doing it this way. Sometimes these types of things will happen. So it might crash on you. You might need to hit regenerate. You might need to do that stuff. Sometimes it happens, guys. So especially with the system, with a lot of people on the system, this stuff can happen. But as you saw, it was producing a list. 
I hope you've enjoyed this video. I'll leave you to play around with this because it is free. And if you've enjoyed it, make sure you hit the like and subscribe and I'll see you around. Cheers.